Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. With another example here. So, if you recall, this is what we did yesterday. We first went through and started grouping. One second here. We first went through and started grouping the first two terms together and the last two terms together. And then we factor out what they have in common. So in this case, I have a 7 goes into 35 and a 7 goes into 42. So I'm going to factor out a 7. Then I also have two A's because there's a total of 3 and two A's here. So I'm going to pull an a squared out. That leaves me left with 5a minus 6. And then back here now, what goes into 25a and 30? That would be a 5. So I'm going to pull a 5 out. And then a, sorry, we left with 5a minus 6. Group the front two together. 7a squared plus 5, and then 5a minus 6, and we're done. All right, so that's just a review of what we did yesterday. Today we're going to pick up with uh, some more factoring. So starting with the sum of two cubes, if I factor the sum and difference of two cubes, in other words, if I just have an a to the third plus b to the third, then that's equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. If it's a difference of two cubes, or a cubed minus b cubed, then that's going to be a minus b out in front, and then a squared plus ab plus b squared. Only difference is, if I look up here, if this is a plus, it's going to be a plus b on the outside, and it's a squared minus ab plus b squared. If it's a minus out here, it's a minus that pulls out in front, and then it's just pluses inside. Now this one here says factor the expression 4x to the 4th plus 108x. Now you don't immediately want to say, well, I just learned this process. Go with what you've learned to factor already. Does, four go in, does anything go into 4x to the 4th and 108x? Well, yeah, a 4 would go into 4 and a 4 would go into 108. So I'm going to factor out a 4. And then I also have an x that comes out. That would leave me with x to the third inside, plus, and then 108 divided by 4 would be uh, 27. So now I have x cubed plus 27. Now, I don't know what my a and b are. My a is x, because it's x to the third power. But what would my b be? What to the third power gives me 27? That would be 3. And so now I can factor using what we just learned with these. If it's a sum of two cubes or a difference of two cubes. If I look at this, this is a plus. So I know it's going to be a sum of two cubes. So I'm going to leave my 4x out in front. And then this becomes x plus 3. And then it's x squared minus a times b. So that would be 3x. And then plus b squared. So that would be 9. Now, there's a possibility that I can factor this out. So let's think of things that could factor 
multiply to give us 9 and add to give us negative 3. Well, the only things that multiply to give us 9 are 3 and 3. 3 minus 3 is not 3x. Um, and then we look at our other possibility, which would be 9 and 1. 9 minus 1 is not negative 3x. So this is as far as this will factor for us. And that's it. Let's try the next one. I have 125 d to the third minus 8. So this is obviously a difference of cubes. Let's see if something to the third power gives us 125. In order to do that, you could go on Desmos and find the cube root button. It has the 3 outside of the root and do the cube root of 125. You'll find that that's going to be 5. You can also do that for the 8 as well. So I'm going to get my A is 5D and my B is 2. Now I just use what I learned in the other portion. It's A, which is 5D minus 2, A minus B, and then it's A squared, which would be 25D squared, plus AB plus B squared. So then I do A times B, that gives me 10D, and then plus B squared, which would be 4. Now, in order to see if I can factor this out, 25 times 4 is 100. So think of the factors of 100 that would multiply or add together to give you 10. Well, I have 25 and 4. That's not going to work. I have 10 times 10, which is also not going to work. Um, 50 and 2. So I can't think of anything else. I could also look at it as 25 would break down to 5 and 5. 4 breaks down to 2 and 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, not 10. So this is unfactorable, which means I leave it at this. Try this one. I have 8 plus z to the 6th. Now, this is not to the third power, and there's nothing that I can factor out of both of these. So what I can think about is, is there anything that I could raise to the third power to get to the 6th? Remember that when you raise an exponent to a power, you multiply your exponents. So if I did z squared raised to the third, multiply those exponents, 2 times 3 would give me z to the 6th. So my a, in this case, is 2, because 2 to the third is 8. And my b is z squared. Now, this is a plus, so it tells us that it's going to be a plus b. So 2 plus z squared. And then it's a squared, which would be 4, minus a, B, to be 2Z squared, and then plus B squared. Z squared squared, that's going to give us Z to the fourth. So we'll just rewrite that as that right now. I can actually get rid of this parenthesis out in front.
and that's it. Now I do need to check, is there anything that I can multiply? Can I factor this down further, in other words? I could do a z to the second and a 2. That would be 2z to the second and then minus or uh, negative 2d 2z to the second and then minus 2z to the second which is not going to give me negative 2z to the second in the middle so I'm done this one is x to the fifth and x squared Check to see if you can factor anything else out first. In this case, we can't. We can pull an x squared out, and I can pull a 2 out. So that would give me 2x squared. Take 2x's away. That would be x to the third. Minus 8. And now this is a difference of two cubes. So 2x stays out in front. Then it's x minus 2. And then everything inside is a plus. x squared plus 8 times b. I guess I didn't list out my a's. a is x and b is 2. So AB would be 2X, and then B squared, which would be 4. Trying to factor this out, it's not going to work, and so we're done again. All right, we're going to go over some more problems like that tomorrow. Um, as you're watching this video, you should be trying to do all those examples on your own and then watching me do them. See if you did it right.